Hi, I'm Eric with Home Network Central, and today I'm going to show you how to install a modem, a cable modem, on your home network. I live in an apartment here, and I have these jacks on my wall, and these are wired for cable internet. So how I would do this is, first of all, the internet, you have to pay a monthly subscription for the internet. This port isn't just going to work. You can't just go buy a modem and expect it to work. You can just go buy a modem, but you have to subscribe. So you have to find out who is your cable provider in your area. And you basically, basically for me, I use Xfinity. So all I have to do is I go on the Xfinity website and I go to sign up for a service and I type in my address and it says, okay, we're there, we have service available in your area. So they'll go ahead and they'll turn this port on. So what we're going to do right now is I have a cable modem that I purchased and we're going to install this and get it online. So what I'm going to do is this, this port was already pre-installed for me in my apartment. So I take a coaxial cable, any coaxial cable will do. You can get them from Walmart or Amazon or wherever. You can get it from wherever you want. But basically it's this round, like circular black cable. Sometimes they're white. And it looks like this at the end. It has one little copper wire sticking out. So one end goes into this port that I have pre-installed on the wall. Now, if you don't have these, then you might be able, when you, when you call your internet service provider, they might have to come out and install it for you. So you might have to pay an installation fee or something. But for me, I live in an apartment, so this is, and this apartment's kind of old. So the cable hookups are already here. So I just need to find this port on the wall. I plug my cable in one end and then the other end goes into my cable modem. So you screw that end into this end. And you want to make sure you get a good connection. You want to make sure you, you, you're pushing it in, push it into the modem and also screwing it in because you want a nice, you want that copper wire to go inside there. So you want to make sure you have a nice solid connection, screw it in as far as it'll go. Nice and tight. You don't want it like super, super tight, but I mean, just, you know, as, as good as you can get it with your hands. Excuse my dogs barking here. So once that's done, now we need power. The cable modem needs power. So I have it plugged in over here. So I'm going to plug it in. And now we wait for it to turn on. Make sure your power is plugged in, like I have a surge protector, so I have to make sure my surge protector is turned on. So now, the modem will boot up. So right now, the only thing that's happened is my power LED is solid, so I know it has a good power connection, and right now it's blinking, so I know it's trying to establish a connection. So basically, I'm just going to wait until it tells me that the internet is on by the globe being lit up. I'm just, all I'm doing is waiting. I'm not doing anything. So I've been waiting here. It probably took, it, it took less than five minutes. It wasn't super quick. It wasn't instant, but I just been sitting here watching it. The links were blink. The lights were blinking. Um, they, it turned off and reset and then it booted up again. And then basically what you're looking for is just like this. You want uh, solid LEDs. I have the instructions right here and it says during startup all four LEDs will flash and then light up solid in sequence. If power LED does not light up solid, please check first check the power connection on your modem before contacting ARIS technical support. If the other LEDs do not light up solid green or blue, please call ARIS technical support. So we do have solid green and blue lights. None of them are blinking. So that means the modem is up and it should be online and ready to go. So we can go ahead and connect our router to this. Now with the modem, you can connect a laptop or whatever you want directly to these ports if you want. Um, usually you only be able to use one unless you have multiple IP addresses. Usually you don't get that unless you're paying extra for it and you know. So on the modem, you get one device to plug in. So we're gonna plug in a ethernet cable into one of these ports and since i'm not just going to use one device i'm going to use a router because i want wi-fi and i want more ports i'm going to plug the other end into the internet port of my router 
And next I'm going to find the power cable and plug the router in. So now I have my ethernet cable plugged into my modem. I have the other end plugged into my router. I have my power plugged in to my router. And you see it's got power, it's booting up, and we'll see if this thing can get online right away without any configurations at all. Well, just wait a minute and I'll come back. All right, so my router finished booting up. Uh, you can see these ones are off, they have no lights, but you can see these ones are all lit up and it has an internet connection. My, mount, my modem is all set up, I'm on the internet, now I just, all I have to do is configure my Wi-Fi and my router. But my modem, the purpose of this video was setting up the modem, that's online, so it was pretty straightforward. All you gotta do is plug it in, and as long as you're paying for your service, as long as your service is turned on, then again, the modem, once you, pay, once you buy the modem, you're, you own the modem. You don't need to pay a monthly fee for the modem. Unless you're renting your modem from your ISP, then you're gonna pay monthly for it. So what you do need to pay monthly for is for them to turn on this port so you can access the internet. They're gonna do it by based on your address. So if this helped you out, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching my video. See you again.